Hi, welcome back. Um, today we're going to do something a little different. Um, let's see, a few weeks ago we started a campaign of uh, Mutants and Masterminds. Very cool system by Green Ronin. Um, this, we're playing 3rd edition, uh, and shortly after I made a character sheet for it. And now I'm going to make a different... Uh, remake that character sheet for different size of paper. Um, the official character sheet was made for a letter sized paper. I believe that is what is com more common in America. Um, but I don't live in America. We use a European paper size called A4. And that is what I'm going to remake my character she uh, sheet into. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit of how I do it, my technique. Um, it's n it's not perfect. I'm still learning a few tricks, and well, it's, let's see if it's as interesting as I hope it is. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have the character sheet that I made. Um, here is the general information about the character and here we have the abilities that I mentioned they added two more to the abilities uh, fighting and I believe agility um, then we have the defenses here if you played um, Dungeons and Dragons, you will recognize uh, some of them. Uh, Fortitude and Will, these are basically the saves that you have. And then you have the offense, offense, sorry. Um, here, skills I've had here. On the original uh, official sheet, uh, you'll find the skills on the second page. Um, notes and conditions are here, powers and devices are down here. You have hero points here. You'll probably not see it here. Uh, power points earned, power points spent, advantages, complications, equipment, and so on. Um, so, we're going to use this layout and is actually the way I've done it is uh, you can see layers here down here there there are 14 layers uh, with stuff so that I can make them separately for example I can take out skills and then I can put them back in um, I've done this so that um, when I use yeah I use Illustrator and when I do this so because Illustrator tends to align objects uh, according to other objects already on the artboard and what I do is I remove objects that I don't want to get in the way. Uh, for example, there are a lot of objects here. This is an object. That is an object. And when I'm aligning, for example, just, just this thing down here, notes and conditions, this text here, it might, it will get jumbled up because it tries to align according to some objects up in the skills. So I just remove skills. Simple as that. Uh, the logo is not the official one. Uh, I like the official one better, but I just didn't want to bother looking for it online to add it. Uh, as, I, as far as I understand, you can use the official logo if, uh, if you have a second logo somewhere uh, that says powered by um, 
M and M powered or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I didn't want to look for it anyway. I was too excited to get this character sheet finished, so I just made one up in Photoshop. We're gonna use the same logo though on the, our second sheet, so don't worry about that. What I'm gonna do is my new one. Just name it M and M um, third V one for version one dash um, A four. That's what the paper size is called. You can see here the size of the letter. Uh, size of the artboard, sorry. Uh, it's currently set to letter sized. I'm going to change it to A4. You can see the difference here in white and height. Uh, letter is 11 by 8.5 inches. A4 is 11.69 by 8.27. There it is. did not expect that. Uh, I thought it was the other way. No way. Uh, anyway. Oh yeah, it's because we have it in uh, we have it in landscape orientation not portrait. That's why. Uh, the white, the white uh, is 8.27 by 11.69. Okay. So we are going to have Two artboards, uh, first and second page, and then we're going to press OK. Okay, so what we do now is we're going to view guides, and we're not going to lock guides. We're also going to go to view again. Go to view rulers. Show rulers. That way you get these handy rulers over here. They don't do much except that they can help you create guides and then what i do is i align the guide to the top of the artboard and pull down shift the arrow key down once twice for the up and down go up one two And then on the sides, I go just one. And another one. You can actually select the two here. Just go Control C for copy, and then Control F, and it will, the Illustrator will put it exactly um, and the exactly same place on this artboard as it is on that art artboard going to do next is we're going to back, go back here we're going to go select this piece here control C go to this artboard and control F and because it's because of the height difference it puts it a little higher than it, where it should be so we're going to move it down to here. How high did I have it anyway? Uh, show guides. Yeah, you can see all the guides that I had for all the different objects. New guides. I'm gonna move one, one, two. Oh, it was. I had a three. Okay. That explains it. I'm gonna move it once more up here. I'm gonna keep this at two. Um, if you hold down the um, control and space bar, you get the zoom in function. Um, So 
somewhere all around here. That's good. Um, and then control space and alt alt alt. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's called. You get the zoom out option. And what if you want to get it just to 100% size, you can double click this button here and the zoom in button on the left side, at least on my screen, um, that will automatically go back to 100%. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to move it a little bit further down. Um, I believe if you use the arrow keys, you move it. All right, I'm gonna do that. Um, if you use the arrow keys, you move it. I believe one pixel in the direction that you want. Um, So uh, if you hold down shift and the arrow keys, if you hold down the shift and arrow keys, they move uh, 10 pixels, I believe. In any case, we are going to take this and copy it. I'm gonna move it here. It seems that I was using uh, twenty pixels to the sides. All right. Uh, if you can use Control Z, it goes undo. I'm going to move this to the side because we're, we're not working with as much. Uh, it's not the paper's not as wide as this, so I'm going to keep it at just 10 inches on each side. Um, this is layer one. We're going to call it the uh, title. And we're going to copy this, control F, and it puts it exactly on the same place on the artboard. Um, you can also use control V, but it just put it, puts it at the center of the screen that you're using in that case. Um, and that is handy when you're not trying to put it on uh, a specific, uh, where you, if you were going to put it somewhere else. On the artboard. And back to this one, and what we're going to do now is when we're going to copy this, we're going to unselect it, and we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to put it Control F, and we're going to put let's put it ten pixels to the side. And we're going to do the same thing here. Now I do this because um, I do this because uh, if I don't like, I want to have these in the way. I can do uh, these guides in the way. I can just remove uh, make the layer invisible and that way it won't show um, what we're going to do is here okay and something like this Okay, 
Okay, okay, so I'm gonna just unselect shift. <laughs> There are a lot of guides here. Guides. Let's hide them. We're just gonna t select this part. We might even yeah, lock guide. If you if you lock the guide, it won't. We're not gonna take this with us. Just gonna take this bit, copy, and we're gonna paste it here. Move it around a little bit, shake it all about, and this is a good spot. I'm gonna move this bit here a little bit. Sorry, I'm not gonna do this. Select all of this, and we're gonna move it slightly to this guide here. And extend this here. Extend this maybe a little bit. It gets a little diff difficult with the guides. And in, in any case, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add a new guide here, and we need to unlock the guides again. Copy, move it down. Okay. What we do next is we take this and we can do rounded rectangle box. We put it at the corner here and drag it to the outer guides. And we need to have some sort of line. And there we have it. Simple as that. Um, next we hide the guide and select this direct selection tool. Very good tool for what we're going to use it for. We're going to hide the title layer. Going to wait. No, we're actually not going to do what I want said. But we're going to do. We're going to select the pen tool. More precisely, delete anchor point tool. We're going to delete this anchor here. If we were just selected like I was going to do and press delete, it takes the whole line with it. So we're not going to do that. We're going to remove the anchor point. So it goes like this. I'm going to remove this anchor point as well. And then, oops, too far. <coughs> we're going to remove these two as well. And then we're going to find the guides again. And then we're going to add two new anchor points here and say here. No mind. Then we're going to take the direct selection tool going to select this anchor point I'm going to drag it all the way it's not straight does it, look, does it look straight to you? no it doesn't look straight to me either I'll open this a bit here this is straight Okay, I'm going to find this anchor point. I'm going to drag it all the way over there as well. Um, this can take a while. In any case, it looks fine. I hide the guides. You can see how this looks a little bit different. Pretty cool, I think. 
Um, uh, some, sometimes I like to play around with it a little bit. For example, just remove the line, put some color in it. So, going to arrange it, send back, and select the whole layer. We have all the objects uh, back, and we're going to press Shift and select the background. Then we're going to all right. Um, it's going to be a bit. Just select this one. Make it red or something. And select all this. This is just for fun. Uh, because um, yeah, I like fun. I am a very funny person, as you can hear. Make this white and select the lines. This also white. This also white because I missed this earlier. Then we're gonna make this black. So it will look like this. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, let's undo the whole thing. Okay, so now we have this area complete. Um, I want to show you the next one as well. Let's just take abilities. It's easy, 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 easy peasy. Um, going to view lines, show guides. Sorry, view lines. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm gonna make a new layer. Going to be called something very cool. We're going to move this five pixels, so I'm going to just use the arrow keys one, two, three, four. It's probably locked. Yeah, okay, so uh, move this here one, two, three, four, five, like so. This is going to be the top of the next copy. Yeah. Control F and 10 pixels down. I'm going to do this copy. Hot select. Select this layer and do this. Okay, so this is going to be. I'll select this part here. I could, of course, just select the whole thing. Seriously, it's easy as pie. Abilities. That would be the easy way of doing things. But I still want to see and show you how I did this. So I'm just going to take this bit. I'm gonna put it here and move it 10 pixels to the right. And we don't need these. We're deleting them. I don't know where they came from. Oh, yeah, it's hidden guides. I forgot about them. So, we're gonna take this, we're gonna do. Ungroup and then again ungroup because I had groups within a group. Copy this. I'm going to put them somewhere here, for example. Okay, so this is another trick I'm, uh, that I didn't learn until I was doing some interesting character sheets lots later. 
um, you can select this object and select another object or in this case we're going to select text uh, with it hold shift to select multiple objects or, or text and then release shift and click another object then we're going to select this here vertical align center it will align it centrally with this object here now if we do this and I would not select as uh, select this. Um, this is what will happen. It will just move both objects until both of them are aligned centrally, vertically, vertically central, uh, vertically centrally. Anyway, um, so we're gonna do this and this, and we're all gonna have fun. Then uh, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, probably could do this but it aligns both to this side so it doesn't work for me and this just does this so I could do no that's not the same thing okay um, uh, this no okay so it doesn't do what I wanted to do so I'm just going to move here. All these objects, all of these things, objects have the are equally big. It's just the text is different in each of them. So all uh, all of them reach to this point here, where I've aligned this to it. So and we're going to hold Shift and arrow key and move it 10 pixels to the right. And this is a lot of fun, apparently, uh, as, you, as you noticed. Um, okay, so what I do next is I just do uh, copy, paste, um, paste, 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 paste. I've, I've lost count, I know, don't know what, how many I did. I'm just going to align it like this. this and like this and like this and then this how many did I do anyway um oh that's the last one and then we're going to do one more almost okay so we have all these objects here and then we're going to select this object here these are all aligned to the text then we're just going to use horizontal align center and do this so all of them are here what we're going to do next is we're going to group this so whenever i select one of them i select all of them it's make, it makes it a little bit quicker to select i'm going to copy them and we're going to con use control f and we're going to move them to here where they intersect on this line here and we're going to move them further down here we're going to do this again like so and like so and then we're going to select these here and we're going to do them a little grayer 80% 70 I think I used 80 yeah the, so we use the same thing okay so now we have this part here and we're going to need more guides we're going to remove this because the guides were in the way and I'm going to add guide here. I'm going to copy and control F and move it 10 pixels. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to copy, control F, down two pic uh, 10 pixels. 
And then we're going to do this bit again. Uh, so always, um, I usually just do this and leave and leave the corners until later, uh, until the last minute. It's uh, usually the last thing I do, and just to keep the box there. Um, I also did a. I'm gonna show this. Um, also did a villain sheet specific, specifically for villain characters what you do then is you can see the curve here they are controlled by handles down here and I can move the handle up and down to make the curve different so I'm just gonna I can't remove the handle completely I'm just gonna put it down here Okay, so it makes at your corners, and then uh, what I did was increase this to I think two or three points. I mean, it, otherwise it was exactly the same. Just made it more edgy. Oh, sorry, uh, at your corners and bolter lines made it look more villainy really so we're going to do this um, yeah um, the whole sheet was made sort of like this I'm not gonna it took a lot longer to do because I had to create everything, every text object, um, everywhere, and well, not everywhere. I created, made this, and then I just used copy paste for this bit here, and so on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just select this copy it and do it the easy way because I'm too lazy to do it the hard way and you've already been very patient in watching how I how I do this For this character sheet, I have also the base score of the abilities and the enhanced score of the abilities, uh, the enhanced bonus to the abilities. So, if you, if for some reason in Mutants Masterminds so you will lose your enhanced abilities, you will have your base score ready. More and yeah um, this is just one part of the character sheet and it's already taken this long um, I'm, of course I am stopping every now and then to show you useless stuff um, and now though I'm probably just gonna go copy paste most of this um, see how that goes and um, I'm just going to stop recording for now and show you how things progressed when they're finished okay bye okay so we're back um, here we have the completed character sheet um, a4 size and we can see the old version here I'm gonna close it and here's the difference you can hardly see anything anything different um, the space uh, the space from the 
content to the edge of the paper is smaller on the sides and well, some of the frames have are larger than they originally were for example power and devices here has uh, is bigger uh, nodes and conditions are bigger and then we have complications and description both bigger might have to change the complications though and have more room for advantages rather than complications probably don't need that much space for complications so the, I'm going to I'm probably going to change that um, before we do anything else uh, when, uh, I had to most of this is just copy paste so uh, copied from the original and pasted it onto the new one um, with some exceptions most anything on bottom line or on the bottom or at the on the right side of the paper had to be altered in some way most of it anyway uh, on page two not much was changed but on page one I had to change powers and devices and notes and conditions and so on uh, the reason for this is something that I'm going to show you I'm going to take this frame here copy it paste it over here I'm gonna make the line a little bigger five, five point bigger so that you can see why the reason is really the curved at curved corners. Oh, sorry. In curved corners here, which are technically not corners. Then uh, it's because if I just move this down here, you can see how the curves are changed. Let's say if we take it back here and just bigger the curves are bigger than they originally were so I had to make new frames for almost anything that changed sizes for example notes and conditions powers and devices anything on the right side so I made new frames instead of keeping to the old ones this is um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change the complications and the advantages so that advantages has more space and complications have less space. Uh, other than that, this is a complete character sheet. I want to thank you for joining me and watching me make this character sheet. I hope you found it interesting and it's probably not the most entertaining thing you could be watching right now but um, yeah thank you uh, the character sheet will be available for download as soon as I upload this video so you, I'll leave a link below I hope you subscribe um, I'm going to add m another video like this uh, probably not as long <laughs> hopefully uh, I'm going, but I'm going to upload more stuff, uh, and uh, yeah, I hope to. I hope that you will join me in watching, and that just didn't sound right. Bye.